This video is on how to factor three terms when the number in front of x squared does not equal 1. There's the number in front of x squared. It does not equal 1. It's also called factor by splitting the middle. Step number one, multiply the first and last terms. 6 times 12 equals 72. Then give me all the pairs that multiply together to equal 72. 1 times 72 equals 72. 2 times 36 is 72. 4 times 18 is 72. 6 times 12 is 72. Oh, we're missing one. 3 times 24, that's also 72. And what about 8 times 9? The next step is use one of these pairs, not the multiplication, but just one of the pairs, to add and subtract to equal the middle term. The middle term is a plus 1x. And this is how we get a plus 1. I put a minus 8 and a plus 9 together. A minus 8 and a plus 9 give me a plus 1. So then we split the middle with that. 1x is the middle, but we're going to call it a negative 8x and a positive 9x. Do you see? This is still 1x. It's just split up. I bring down the minus 12, and I bring down the 6x squared. And now I'm going to factor by grouping. I group the first two parentheses. I group the second two parentheses, and there has to be a plus sign between them. Then I factor out the greatest common factor. 6 and 8 both can be divided by the largest number is 2. Then I look for the lowest power x. I have an x2 and I have an x1. The lowest power x is x to the 1 power. I divide each of these terms by what's outside the parentheses, the 2x. I get 6 divided by 2 is 3 x2 divided by x1, the bases stay the same when you divide. You subtract the powers. 2 minus 1 is x to the 1 power, or we just leave it blank. It still means x to the 1 power. 8 divided by 2 is 4. x divided by x just cancels and turns to 0. On this side, the greatest common factor, what can divide into 9 and 12? The largest number is 3. The lowest power x, I have an x and no x, so no x comes out. The lowest power x is no x. I divide each of these terms by what's outside the parentheses. There's only a 3 outside. 9 divided by 3 is 3 with an x in it. 12 divided by 3 is a negative 4. At this point, your parentheses should be identical. If they don't look the same, then something went wrong in the problem. Factor out each of the parentheses. And I'm just taking them all out. And I get 3x minus 4 when I factor out the parentheses. What's left over goes into the next parentheses when you're multiplying. A 2x and a plus 3. We're done. This is the factor. 6x squared plus 1x minus 12 equals 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 3. If I FOIL this, I will end up with this as my answer. Let's try one more problem. 12x plus 7x minus 5. Step number 1. Multiply the first term and the last term. 12 times 5 equals 60. Give me all the pairs that multiply together to equal 60. 1 times 60. 2 times 30. 3 times 20. 4 times 15. 5 times 12 is 60. 6 times 10 is 60. So these are all the 60s. The next step is use one of these pairs to try to add or subtract to equal a plus 7. If I use a plus 12 
and a minus 5. A negative 5 and a plus 12 is a plus 7. That's my pair. I'm going to split the middle. And just to show you, it doesn't matter what order you put these in, I'm going to put the plus 12x first and the minus 5x second. It doesn't matter what order you put this in. 12x squared and the minus 5 come down. I'm going to factor by grouping, put in the groups of 2. Now, this minus is the sign of this number, so I'm going to put that in groups of 2, but make sure there's a plus sign between them. We're not multiplying just like before. There should be a plus sign between them. Now, what can I factor out of 12x squared plus 12x? I can factor a 12 out of there and an x. Do you see the largest number that divides into 12 and 12 is 12. I have an x2 and an x1, and x can be factored out. So if I divide both of these by 12x, Twelve divided by twelve is one. X squared divided by x is just x. Two minus one is one. And you can put a there's an invisible one here and an invisible one there. It means one x to the one power. Twelve x divided by twelve x. They cancel each other out. It doesn't turn to zero. Twelve x divided by twelve x. Anything divided by itself is a positive one. Here, since I have a negative 5, do you see I have to have a positive 1 in the parentheses? The parentheses have to be the same. So I need to divide. Anytime the third term is negative, you have to actually factor out a negative. What number divides into 5x and 5, both 5? You can factor out a negative 5. There's an x and no x, so we put no x out. The lowest power x is no x. So we're going to divide both of these by a negative 5. That's what we factored out. Anytime the third term is negative, you have to factor out a negative sign also. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1x. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is a positive 1. Do you see how my parentheses are identical? 1x plus 1, 1x plus 1. I'm going to now factor out the parentheses. We take them out of each one and create 1x one plus 1. 1x one is the same thing as x plus 1. I take, factor them out and create 1 parentheses. They both factor out into 1. What's left over in the other parentheses, there's a multiply between them, is 12x and a minus 5. This is my answer when I factor 12x squared plus 7x minus 5 using the uh, complete the square using the split the middle and factor by grouping techniques. Thanks for watching the video.